Okay, ladies and gents, here we have question number two is going to be out of six marks in total, three marks for part A, three marks for part B. So this is part A here, reading that word problem and creating an equation. So it said we have six less than a number equals seven. That's where we got our equation here from. Six less than a number is minus six, then a number equals seven. So there's one mark already if you wrote your equation. Your second mark comes from, did you show your work? Do you have one, two, three, four, five, six negative tiles and your variable shown on this left side? And then on my right side, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven positive tiles. There's my second mark. Your third mark comes from, well, did you actually solve it? Did you cancel out and isolate your variable to get this rectangle alone? And to do that, once again, insert some positives in here so that you can get that variable alone. You can isolate it, it's called. So if we have one, two, three, four, five, six negatives, we need one, two, three, four, five, six positives. If we put in six positives on this side, we've got to put in six more positives on this right side. Now we can do some cancelling out. We'll cancel out six of these positives with six of these negatives. And then we now have our variable alone, which is n equals, is there anything to cancel on this side? No, there is not. So we can count it up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Answer should be n equals 13. So there's your third mark there in 2a. In 2b, or not to be, that is the question. In 2b, we have our question stating three less than a number is five. So three less than a number is subtract three equals negative five. Where it said a number, that's where we use n to represent our variable. So one mark for getting the equation right. Second mark for writing down your tiles, showing your work. We have negative three, so one, two, three drawn over here. We have negative five, negative five drawn over here. Our variable drawn with a rectangle. Let's get that variable alone. Let's isolate it. Let's put in positive three on this side to get rid of these negatives because they'll cancel each other out. Then let's put in our positive three over on this side because you've got to do the same to each side so that they balance. We can now cancel these out with each other. And what are we left with? Well, we're left with our variable n equals negative two, because there's two tiles there that are still shaded in, so that is negative two. So there is question number two, A and B, each out of three marks, so your total in number two is out of six marks. Go ahead, take a minute, jot that down. Moving on to question number three. Question number three, we're dealing with some temperatures. So they are now just, once again, word problems, and they're wanting you to write down the equation first. So you're going to get nine marks total here, three in each, kind of like we just did. One mark for writing the equation, one mark for showing your tiles, and one mark for the right answer. So first one in A, we have overnight the temperature dropped six degrees. So if it's dropping six degrees, that's going to be a subtract six. To represent temperature, we'll use T. So variable, subtract six. It drops to negative 10 degrees Celsius. So reading that question again, the temperature dropped six degrees, so minus six degrees, and it drops to a negative 10. We'll represent our temperature with variable T. Do the same thing we've been doing. Draw that line to separate both sides. Show what you have on the left side first. So we've got our variable T represented with a rectangle. We have six negative tiles. And on my right side, we have 10 negative tiles. Now, we got to, after we've now drawn our picture, we've got a mark for our equation. We've got a mark for showing our tiles. Now we have to kind of figure out what's our answer. And to do that, 
get this variable alone. We've got to isolate it. And to get it alone, to cancel these out, we've got to put in six positives. And because we put in six positives on that side, we've got to do the same to this side. It's got to balance. It's got to be fair. Now we can start canceling out. Cancel these six positives with these six negatives. Cancel these six positives with six of these negatives. And what are we left with? We're left with our variable t equals one, two, three, four negatives. So negative four. And there's our third mark for t equals negative four. Because of a negative four and a negative six, give you together negative 10. There is A. Looking at B. So reading B here together, we have during the day, the temperature rose 7 degrees. So it gets 7 degrees hotter. So plus 7. And the temperature rose, so T rose. Temperature rises 7 degrees to a plus 2. It says it rises to that plus 2. Draw our line to separate both sides. Draw what we have on our left. Well, we've got our variable. We've got 7 positives. And on my right side, I have 2 positives. Get this variable alone. So let's get rid of these. To get rid of these, we've got to put in seven negatives. If I put in seven negatives on this side, I must put in seven negatives on this side. Now I can start canceling out. Did it right that should get rid of all of them on this side and all we have left is our variable t and on this side cancel out what we have left is one two three four five negatives because they are shaded in so one mark for your equation one mark for showing your tiles one mark for your answer check that answer to make sure it works a negative five and a positive seven together give you that positive two Moving on to the last question, 3C. So looking at 3C here, we've got overnight the temperature dropped 8 degrees. So it dropped 8 degrees minus 8. That temperature is what's dropping. We'll show that with a T. And it dropped 8 degrees to the new temperature, negative 3. Show that line to separate both sides. Let's draw what we have. Our variable t, negative 8 tiles. And then on my right side, I've got negative 3 tiles. Now, we've got our equation, one mark. We've got our tiles shown. There's your other mark. The next step is to get that variable alone. And to do that, we've got to draw our zero pairs, which means that we've got to put in some tiles to get rid of these. We've got to get them to zero. So let's put in our positives to get rid of our negatives. We've got eight negatives, we've got to put in eight positives. Now that I put in eight positives on this side, I've got to do the same to the other side. Now, I can start canceling out. Cancel out your negatives and your positives. Cancel these eight out with these eight. All we have left is our variable, which is t. And then on my other side here, my right side, cancel out my negative with a positive, negative with a positive, negative with a positive. What do I have left? One, two, three, four, five positives. So positive five. Remember, you can put that plus sign there. You don't have to though because it's a positive number. So we know that without anything in front of it, we know it's a positive number. So looking at that, check our work. Five minus eight would give us a negative three. So third mark 
comes right down there. Number five's total is out of nine marks. Your total on this assignment, if you add it all up together, right on this one here, number one should have been out of 12. Number two should have been out of six. And number three should be out of nine. We should have 27 marks there in total. 12, 6, 18, 27 marks. So please, with that total, remember you do not have to put it right in the comments below. You can submit it privately, or if you want, if it's just easier for you, you can put it right in those comments below. Uh, either way is fine with me. So guys, this is our last thing using kind of models to solve equations. This was solving equations using tiles. This week here, uh, starting tomorrow in our video, our Zoom meeting that I look forward to every week, and I hope you do as well, we're going to be solving these equations using algebra. That's the way that you are going to kind of use going forward into your later grades, and the way that some of you will probably maybe find, uh, I won't say the best, but you might say, hey, this is easier, or hey, this is quicker. It might make a little more sense, and that's what we're going to start with tomorrow. We did the tiles though to kind of show you how it all works. And tomorrow we'll start our algebra. Thank you very much for watching these videos, going through your knowledge checks, and making any corrections you needed to make to kind of get that better understanding of all this stuff. So thanks for tuning in, guys. We will see you next week in our Zoom meeting. I look forward to those. As I said, I hope you do as well. Bye for now. See you tomorrow.